Good evening, this is 7 o'clock English News. First, the headlines. Celebrations of Eid al-Fitr continue in various governorates of the Sultans. And the fighting uh, continues around airport in Yemen, port city of Hodeidah. Those are the headlines and all the news in detail. His Majesty the Sultan has sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President Danny Foray of Seychelles on the occasion of his country's National Day. Celebrations of blessed Eid al-Fitr continue in various governorates of the Sultanate in the Wilayah of Soha. Rejoicing this special occasion, citizens organized a traditional festival in front of the historical fort of Sohar in which they renewed their royalty and gratitude to the builder of the Omani Renaissance, His Majesty the Sultan. Various society segments took part in the festival, which included Omani traditional arts like Razha and Razi, and the participants presented traditional poems on the love of His Majesty the Sultan and the whole blessed Renaissance achievements. Coinciding with the celebrations of the blessed Eid al-Fitr, the citizens of the Wilaya of Barka also organized camel race festival rejoicing the happy occasion at, at Al Wahra Camel Races Ground. The aim of organizing the 10 rounds of race was to preserve the cultural heritage of the Sultan. The race witnessed the participation of a large number of camel owners from the Wilaya of the Government of South Batina. The festival was also accompanied by traditional Omanis singing arts. At the end of the race, winners were honored. Citizens in the Wilaya of Mulebi in the government of North Sharqiyah as well celebrated the blessed Eid al-Fitr through organizing camel race. A large number of camel breeders from various governors of the Sultan took part in the race, which witnessed a strong challenge and powerful complete competition. The activities attracted many citizens from the Wilaya and neighboring areas, besides the tourists who were keen to be present and enjoy the race, which embodied the civilizational and cultural dimensions of the Wilaya. Celebrations of Happy Eid al-Fitr continue in the number of gun raids of the Sultanate. Citizens of the Wilaya of Wadi al in the government of South Martina organized a festival in this occasion. The event included uh, some traditional arts showcase, Al-Azi and al rasha in addition to some entertainment and sports activities. The event attracted all segments of the society in the Wilaya. Idle Fitr celebrations are varied around the governorates of the Sultan to express joy and happiness in this blessed occasion. Rejoicing the occasion, a youth festival for children was held in the Wilaya of Mulebi in the government of North Sharqiya. The evening witnessed a wide attendance of the Wilaya's children as well as their parents. The children expressed that such festivals make them happy and give them opportunity to participate in some activities and competitions. Welcome back to the news from the Sultan of Oman Television. On other news, Yemeni officials and witnesses said Arab coalition forces fought to retake the international airport of Yemen's Houthi-held port city of Hodeida as their Houthi rivals denied the coalition had seized the facility that is the which is the starving nation main gateway for food and uh, shipments. 
The military of Yemen's exiled government said it had entirely seized the compound that engineers were working to clear mines from nearby areas such as south of the city of some 600,000 people on the Red Sea. The foreign ministers of uh, Greece and Macedonia today signed an accord to rename the former Yugoslav Republic to Republic of North Macedonia. The landmark accord followed decades of inconclusive talks which had soured relations between the two countries and held up the admission of the Balkan state into the EU and NATO, which Greece is a member. The agreement still requires the approval of both parliament and referendum in Macedonia. Greek Prime Minister Alexis Paris said that the agreement was a historic step in paving the way for peace and collaboration in Europe, Macedonia, and Prime Minister Zoran Zaev said the agreement can move mountains. Under the deal, Greece will lift its objections to the renamed nation joining the EU and NATO. Colombians will choose between a leftist former rebel and a young conservative lawmaker today in a presidential election to decide who will lead the nation as it implements and still fragile peace accord. One-time militant and former Bogota mayor Gustavo Puetro is vowing to uphold the 310-page accord while front-runner Ivan Doc wants to make changes like requiring ex-combatants to serve time before entering political if they are guilty of crimes against humanity. Doc won the first round vote held in June topping Petro by 14 percentage, but falling short of the majority needed to avoid a runoff. This is the Sultan of Oman Television. Before we tonight's sports and hear the main points once again. Celebrations of blessed Eid al-Fitr continue in various governorates of the Sultan. And uh, fighting continues around airport in Yemen, port city of Hodeida. And with that, come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here in the newsroom and the studios, enjoy the rest of eight holidays. Good night.